Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any placement propensity of Aries that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything jewelry wise seen in the video will all be on my website. Link for that is in the description box. At the end, I will pull some oracles for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And this reading is aimed for the first week of February. Time is not linear though, we are all on different timelines. This could have happened yesterday, may happen today, may happen tomorrow. We're jumping right in, four cards out. What else do we have for Aries? What do they need to know? First week of February. Messages for their greatest and highest good. Two more cards for Aries, please. And I do only take jumpers. So patience is necessary. Okay, with two extras, I actually saw both these cards earlier in the pre-shuffle. So they definitely wanted to come out. Bottom of the deck this week, Aries. We are looking at the Queen of Cups. Water sign energy could be important to you in some way, uh, Cancer, Spices, or a Scorpio, or this could just definitely be be you, someone with an extremely big heart, lots of emo you know, lots of love to give. You got lots of love. You just got lots of love. Uh, Queen of Cups, male or female, does not matter. We all have both propensities. This is just someone that is not actively giving their love to anyone. They would like to have someone there to give all this love to, but you know, there's still there. They, there's no one that that's interesting enough i guess or there's just no one that you know fits the bill looks like that might be changing though in your past position we're starting with the page of pentacles and the ten of wands definitely very polar energy here with the page of pentacles and the ten of wands is like the beginning and the end literally something began and it was almost like as soon as it started it ended <laughs> that's exactly what i'm getting from this something started maybe not necessarily quickly, right? Or it didn't even get a chance to grow. Definitely could be some sort of, could be anything. Definitely could be financially related, some sort of job, some sort of hobby that you maybe thought you were going to love forever, but don't. It actually is a pain in the backside. Could be a person that you thought you were completely enamored with or you were completely enamored with at one point. And now they're just, you know, kind of a wart, right? can't get rid of it like it's it's too much it needs to go but something definitely started quickly and ended quickly here in the past okay something that maybe you were emotionally involved in especially with this queen of cups something that you had a lot of emotion towards at one point and maybe now this is you back to like okay who am i going to give this love to definitely there was a choice here gemini energy underneath the queen of cups present position Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So definitely something ended here with the Five of Pentacles. Loneliness, kind of feeling like left out, abandoned energy. This could be you. This could be, could be whoever you're dealing with. We have the Five plus the One. That's a Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone was giving to multiple things. Someone was a little bit too generous with their time and energy. So this could definitely be why you had to end it. Drop the burden. Too much going on. It was just too much. Okay, Ten of Wands is you're doing my my you're doing too much card. Like you're just doing too much. Okay, someone was giving to multiple situations here. So something that once started off, you know, so potential, so so you know, seemed very intriguing, very curious about it. Looks like now you have uh walked away from that. Someone here is now feeling left out, feeling, you know, abandoned, out in the cold, on the outskirts. I don't think it's you though, <laughs> to be completely honest. Could have been an earth sign you were dealing with. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo with that Page of Pentacles energy, but I think this is you, Nine of Cups. Just fine, just fine and dandy. And if you're not yet, you're about to be because it is in your present position. If you are still in the state of feeling, you know, you're soon, this is this is going to be the potential energy you have an opportunity to harness while someone else is definitely feeling the loss of this connection. Definitely could be you as well. But this is definitely two different energies. Right, someone is definitely feeling the lost, the other one not so much. This is my living your best life card, also a wish fulfillment card, too. So you're very content, very content with the decision that you have made. And someone is just feeling not so much, they're not happy. Okay. Definitely could be whoever was giving too uh too many things. 
All right, and the choice was made. Even though this was a divine connection of some sort, the choice was made to walk away. It became burdensome. Okay, now you're living a lot lighter, or you're about to be if you're not quite yet. In your future energy, Seven of Cups and the King of Wands. Confusion here, illusion. Someone is definitely probably looking like they're trying to brainstorm their way on how to take action towards something very clearly here. Whoever was in this, who's ever in this Five of Pentacles. Uh, also an energy of options, which is was the problem in the first place, right? So definitely this person could be confused now as to what to do with their self. You know, they lost their best horse. That's how the story usually goes. Maybe they're trying to conjure up some sort of way to, to, to get you back because Five of Pentacles, I mean, they're definitely feeling the absence. King of Wands is an action-oriented energy. Fire sign energy definitely could be you, right? And if this is you showing up in your true energy, absolutely, they're, they're, they're confused. But there also could have been illusions surrounding this person as well, right? Also could be some illusions here. That this person may try to create but i don't think it will phase you i think you're going to see right through it coming up as the king of wands yeah sharp as a whistle that king of wands male or female does not matter you're focused on other things you basically went from the ten of wands basically back to the ace of wands this is giving me ace of wands vibes All right you're starting a new cycle you're focused on other things and maybe you have options okay Two extra cards here, Major Archon of the Fool Energy with Eight of Wands. Yeah, going into something new, moving forward. Definitely some travel energy here as well. Double time with the Fool and the Eight of Wands. Definitely some of you could be traveling. Someone could definitely be wanting to travel back to you, but I definitely think you're on to new things. There's definitely some other direction you're being. Look, these are going in two opposite directions. So someone could be definitely wanting to start over again here with the full card and you're you're gone and you're you're looking elsewhere. This is how I'm feeling it. The top row is, you know, maybe one person and this is definitely giving me another person vibe down here. Someone wants to start over. They want a new cycle. They want to get rid of the options. But Definitely could be communication coming in regarding this. Someone could be taking the chance and, and communicating this to you or whoever, you know, wherever you fit. But someone's about to take action here and express something. What do we have for Aries? Flyer all the way over here. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Cupid's arrow hitting the egg. Also very fertile energy for me. So if that's something you want to avoid, then, you know, <laughs> luck is on your side, though. Wherever it is that you are heading is exactly the direction in which you need to be going. Whatever it is you're focused on, whatever it is you're moving towards and away from, probably your best bet. You're a lot lighter without this situation. Okay, you've already dropped the burden, but absolutely, it's all up to you. We all have free will and you absolutely have a right to exercise that. But you're on to better things, my dear. On to better things. Definitely some of you are maybe trying your hand at entrepreneurship. You know, focused on business. King of Wands is very focused on business. Very focused on business. Think on your feet. Fox energy number 27, which is a nine. More single energy. So two nines here. Very single, independent, I can do bad all by myself sort of energy. Think on your feet, giving me very much King of Wands vibes as well. So no one can fool you. This is what I'm getting. So if there's anyone that's going to try to approach with any sort of confusion, it's not going to happen. You'll see right through it. You will see right through it. Right? This could also be the representing whoever it is, is that feels out in the cold trying to think on their feet, right? How do I get this person back? Because they're definitely feeling alone. This could be them in the Queen of Cups energy as well, right? Feeling the emotions of it all now. What else do we have for Aries? First week of February. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Definitely what we're speaking on. You're on to new and other things. Even if that's just focusing on self, fitness, work, you know, upgrading your life, upgrading your quality of life, even just mentally. 
spiritually, emotionally. Dropping anything that's too heavy to carry on your soul, on your mind, on your heart. It, this is how you're moving. You're moving with speed and agility. Efficiency. Okay. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy for you this week, Aries. I really do hope that resonates with every single one of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.